Hi, I'm Richard, and today we want to, uh, we've got a couple of machines in here uh, that are ready to ship out to customers of our iron workers, and we've get, they've got, uh, they're getting quite a few accessories with the machines, so we're showing most of them sitting here, and uh, so we thought it was a good time to walk through and show you some of the features and the options that are available on the machine. So first of all, uh, this machine has the production control. Uh, and uh, so this is the electronic version of the control. It has a, uh, it, it's a cycle control. So you set the, uh, you set the limits up here uh, for your upper and lower limits. And, and then you can, you can cycle either to the press, to the press side of the machine or to the uh, punch side of the machine and it will it will do one cycle when you press the pedal and return or it's in jog mode now we'll leave it in the jog mode for this demo where um, it it does not go automatically it just you run it up and down with the foot pedals there is uh there's two foot pedals uh left and right so one goes uh one's up and one's down in jog mode uh, there is also a speed control on the machine so you can uh you can adjust the speed uh, if you want to slow down and set something up you can or do something that's uh, fine-tune something you can slow the machine down uh, now this machine over here now that that machine was our 4075 model this is our 2050 model and it is uh, it's a 50 ton with 20 tons in the press and it it has the manual control on it which is just the uh, just a hydraulic lever, it's very simple. Uh, down goes down, let go, it stops, and up goes up. So uh, when you're punching, you're, you're standing here, you're, uh, you're just you're going up and down, and of course, shearing, uh, it, it is a fairly, fairly natural control. Uh, there, is a, uh, there is a foot pedal option for this control. It's a pneumatic shifter that, um, that that shifts the uh, shifts the machine up and down two pedals, also up and down. Okay, so this machine uh, is is fairly basic. Uh, it comes it comes with the angle shear, the flat shear, the punch, and the press station. Now this press brake option that is the, this press brake that is in here is optional. Uh, that is not a standard feature, but uh, it is available for that machine and the foot pedal is also optional it is not a standard feature so that's the manual control uh, standard control and this is the production control all right uh, as far as the rest of the accessories this machine has uh, has the notcher option copper notcher um, and uh, the 24 inch press brake option commercial duty so it's got the heavy duty four-way die in there. You can rotate it for different die sizes. Uh, and of course the production control option, uh, it has the uh, punch jig table mounted on it. Uh, and um, it's getting the rest of these options over here. Uh, this customer is also getting a 32 inch brake uh, and a six inch brake, which is pretty easy to put in and out of the machine for little projects. Uh, it's 29 piece punch kit. And this right here is a, is a table that goes, a, a drop table that goes on the back of the shear to catch the material. And it has storage for the 29 piece punch set. Uh, this is the bed lift kit that lifts that press bed up and down, uses those chains you see on the machine. And here's some different press ram caps. The machine does come standard with, with one for general pressing in that center section. Uh, this customer is getting a few extras. So they're also getting a pipe and tube bending set. So that comes with, uh, that comes with four sizes of pipe bending dies and four sizes of square tubing bending dies. That also goes in the center section of the machine. This is the frame that sits in there. And uh, this, uh, this is gonna run up and down to bend your, bend your tubing in there. This is a set of rollers for the round pipe. This is flat for the square tubing. 
This right here is the type of bend that it makes with the square tubing dies. So it is actually, it crushes in that center section and this side pulls in. If we were going to cut a cross section of that, it's actually a very strong bend. If you would cut a cross section right there, you would actually see these two sides almost touching. It basically forms an I-beam. And it's actually stronger than a welded joint. And now the pipe bender just does a standard, it doesn't really deform the pipe. That's the standard bend for that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set up and do some punching and shearing here just to demonstrate a little bit. If you'll take a look here. This piece of, the machine has a capacity of six inches of one inch material. Okay, so we got one inch material here. And we also get a question, a lot of people are asking, you know, what about the shear height? Okay, so this machine, the shear is higher than some. You will see, I'm 5'9", 5'10", somewhere in there. It's about chest height to me. And it is higher than some, but it actually has pretty good visibility if you're going to be putting in, cutting to a mark or something like that. Most people in the custom fabricating industry find it a very comfortable, a very comfortable height. So we're going to go ahead and put this in there. We're going to cut it off at a, got my gloves on here. I'm kind of clumsy on my fingers, but we're going to cut it off here at this line. Right there. And I'll have him swing around to the back side and actually you can watch that cut. We'll turn the machine on here. And you can see what a nice quiet cut that, that makes at full capacity here. It's going to be full capacity cut. So it's a two speed machine. You can see for heavier machine, uh, bend, uh, cut, the machine slows down. That speeds back up again. So. So you just watch the machine do a full six inches of one inch of full capacity cut there. Uh, and you saw how quiet and how well the machine handled that. So we'll also uh, do, uh, we'll also do a punch some three quarter inch material. So again, the machine's running in jog mode. You let off the, the, the punch, it stops. So there we go. I'll take a piece of a three quarter inch plate here and we'll punch a hole. There again, you see the machine slow down, go into slow speed, punch the hole, and then push speed back up. So that's three quarter inch material. Uh, again, a uh, almost full capacity hole there. And the machine handles that really like butter. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to show you maybe just the uh, a little bit more here. So the machine has capacity for up to 14 inches width on the shear. So this right here would be a uh, this right here would be a full a full width cut. Um, we'll push push that in and uh, go ahead and cut that off we'll screw this down clamp it and that's 3 16 material So bend, we'll bend that plate.
press brake. Now this is 3 6 material. We really should go to a smaller die, but we do ship it on that side. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna use it just for demonstration. So there, that's just kind of how the press brake works. Uh, maybe just, oh, we'll try the knocker yet, uh, but maybe I will mention this machine. I don't have the pipe notcher sitting here, but you can get a pipe coper notcher as well. Uh, and it, it's, it's, it makes the saddle in there. It also goes up in this, in this notch, uh, same place where that one goes. Uh, and you can notch your pipe sizes for saddles there. Also a pop, popular feature. All right, we will, uh, we'll just use this piece right here that we cut. We can, we can do some notch in here. Uh, so we can do this any way we want. Uh, we've got some stops here that adjust the depth. Uh, so we've got a fairly small notch right now, but uh, you can take those off or you can make as big a notch as you want to. <clears throat> uh, and just for reference, if we were going to be doing angle iron, and again, these notches aren't set to the, quite the right depth, but, uh, you know, you can come in here and do your do your corner notching as well uh, so you could put two pieces of angle iron together so i don't know if i forgot anything i think that's all i have for now and uh, we 